I have come to rather radical views on psychiatric drugs. They are not at all radical. <laughs> I think that they are based on the best science I could find, but they are viewed as radical by others. And um, I doubt that antipsychotics have a genuine effect on psychosis, just like uh, uh, Saikula does, and call them psychosis drugs. I shall remember that, and not antipsychotics. Um, there are formidable biases in the randomized trials, and one of the worst is that they are not adequately blinded. These drugs have very conspicuous side effects, so doctors and patients can often guess if you are on active drug or placebo, and then you exaggerate uh, subjective outcome measures. And um, there is another important reason why psychiatric drug trials, almost all of them, are severely biased, and you just mentioned that, uh, that uh, they come from another drug, and then you have a short washout period, and then you create cold turkey symptoms in the placebo group. And then you say, great, my drug is better than when I have harmed the placebo patients. That's not good science. And Bob Whittaker has written in one of his books that one out of 145 patients who got a cold turkey in antipsychotic drug trials died. These deaths were never reported in the scientific literature. This is an incredibly high death rate, one of 145. Why did all these people die when they got a cold turkey? I don't know if Bob knows, but I would assume most of them committed suicide because of the horrible abstinence symptoms. Why else would they die, so many of them? So this is the lethal drug design. And even given all these formidable biases, then uh, when you look at the drug trials that were sent to the FDA for approval of these newer antipsychotic drugs like risperidone or lansapine and so on, then the average effect on the PANS scale that you also mentioned, the positive and negative syndrome scale, is only six over placebo. And the least difference that can be noticed is 15. So the average effect is considerably smaller than the minimum effect that you can barely perceive as a change. So the FDA has approved a lot of drugs that don't work. And if you then say, what is a clinically relevant effect? This is bigger than what you can barely perceive. If, if there is light for the end of the tunnel, you can see there is light, but it doesn't mean you can read a newspaper. <laughs> so, really, Given all these formidable biases, the effect is less than what is relevant. And we know that the drug industry manipulates its trials tremendously. And both in relation to Cyprexa and in relation to Eli Lilly's other blockbuster, Prozac, there were so many fundamental manipulations in the pivotal trials that they submitted for registration that in my view, these drugs should never have seen the light of the day on the market. These are terrible drugs, both of them, but Eli Lilly made, made them blockbusters. Um, so this tells you about what kind of landscape we're in. And then I would like to support Jakob Saikola. You have not done randomized trials in Lapland, but your results are very convincing to me. There is more science than randomized trials. There is a lot else, as you so correctly said. And we have a lot else information, also from randomized trials, from the Wondering trial. After seven years, more people were cured if they had their dose of antipsychotics reduced or stopped. Very important randomized trial. The WHO studies in developing countries, they fared better than in the Western world because they don't take drugs. And all, all that, we know how harmful these drugs are. They are mo some of the most toxic drugs that have ever seen the market, apart from cancer chemotherapy. But they are worse than cancer chemotherapy because cancer chemotherapy doesn't destroy our brains, which is what makes us human. 
It's absolutely horrible. So in my view, we shouldn't use antipsychotic drugs at all. If you, um, if you ask patients, which I often do when I lecture for general lectures, public lectures, and I ask them, next time you come in with an acute psychosis, if you could decide yourself, do you want a benzodiazepine or an antipsychotic drug? Every one of them so far have said a benzodiazepine. And there is a Cochrane review that even shows us that more people get sedated on a benzodiazepine than on antipsychotic drug. But of course, this is a dose question. You can put, you can put, you can operate on people, both on benzodiazepines and antipsychotics. You just need to increase the dose. So they become comatose. Um, so in my view, forced treatment must be abolished in all nations. And, um, and, um, and um, if a patient needs something to be calmed down, because as Will said very nicely, if you don't sleep for several days, you can become psychotic. If you need something to be calmed down, then take a benzodiazepine for a few days. It won't destroy you. And the effect disappears within two weeks. So no more than one to two weeks, that's all. A few days and no more benzodiazepines, no more antipsychotics. What a world we would have. And this is what we will together try to achieve. And then I have not even spoken about ADHD drugs that I feel should be taken off the market. And a third drug group, antidepressants, I write a lot about that in my book. I have come to the conclusion they don't work for depression, so take them off the market as well. Uh, I know this is radical, but it would create a better world. Now, um, I have brought two PhD students for this meeting, and uh, I, I just love this meeting. I'm so happy to be here. Um, and I'll just tell you what they will be doing. One of them will study withdrawal. What do we know about withdrawal? How can we do it in the safest and best way? The other one will study why is it that psychiatrists have a different view of their drugs than their patients and the relatives and what the science tells us? What, what is going on? In antidepressant trials, for example, the psychiatrists say that the drugs work, but when you ask the patients whether children or adults in the same trials, they say they don't work. So whom do you believe? I know whom to believe. We are not treating psychiatrists, we're treating patients. I, I think I've used my 10 minutes. <laughs>